Hi, I'm Michael Ralph, and today we're going to be doing an algae bloom lab. You're going to need everything you see right here, including some fertilizer, some test tubes, an existing microalgae culture, and a centrifuge. The first thing we're going to need to do is mix up some fertilizer. Use the concentration recommended on the can when, it, when you get it. Once you have it mixed up, make sure to label it. That's your 1x fertilizer. Next, you'll need some test tubes. On your test tubes, you're going to want to mark some consistent volume. However you want to go about doing that consistent volume, make sure that they're all going to be about the same. The first thing we'll need to do is fill them up to that marked volume with your fertilizer. Make sure not to get too much. And then inoculate it with one milliliter of our microalgae culture. Using a graduated pipette makes this process considerably easier. And then you have your full strength fertilizer and algae test tube all set up and running. Once it's labeled, you can put it over to the side. From here, it's time to start making dilutions of our fertilizer. To do our dilutions, you're going to need two equal volume containers. They could be Anything from disposable cups, Dixie cups, or beakers, as long as they're the same size, they're going to work fine. From here, fill up one beaker with some volume of fertilizer. The important thing here is that it is up to some mark, so you can mark it again with a wax pencil or some other crayon, or if there's an existing mark, all you need to do is have something consistent. And from here, we're going to cut it in half. So whenever our two volumes look to be pretty close to equal, we now have exactly half the original volume of our original concentration. And so now we can fill it back up to that original mark with water. We are now guaranteed to have one half the concentration that we had when we began without having any sort of measurement of the volume or concentration to begin with. We're guaranteed that this is one half strength compared to the original 1x solution. From here, you can either take another sample into another test tube and inoculate and have a 0.5x fertilizer trial, or you can continue to dump this out and do yet another dilution and keep going. You can take this to 1 quarter x, 1 eighth, 1 sixteenth, or I take my kids all the way down to 1 thirty second concentration of the original fertilizer solution and make your test tubes. Don't forget to include a control of just water and you should end up with something that looks about like that. From here, just put them under a grow light and let them run for a couple weeks before we're ready to collect any of our data. The last step is collecting data. To collect our data, we're going to need to separate out all of the algae that's grown from all the solution of the water and the other liquids that are still left in our test tubes. So, take a centrifuge. This is a test tube centrifuge, and so we can just take what's grown and spin them around so we produce a pellet that is exclusively algae. Then we can pour off the supernatants, which should be just the fertilizer solution left over. You can then mass the pellet and the test tube, clean it out, and remove the mass of the test tube by massing it one more time. And you're left with just the mass of the algae that's grown. From here, you can compare the mass of algae that's grown in your stronger concentrations to the weaker concentrations and, of course, the control. Good luck.